<laughs> Fang, a town made famous by its creature infested dungeon. From his hilltop castle, Baron Sukumvit designed his labyrinth of horrors. When it was built, he issued an annual challenge to all heroes, brave or foolish enough, to wager their souls. As a prize, survivors would be rewarded in riches beyond their wildest dreams. <laughs> Whilst some adventurers get ready for battle on the eve of the quest, others, less experienced, walk foolishly into battle. Townsfolk wait patiently in the taverns, hoping that maybe, just maybe, one day a champion will rise who can conquer the perilous depths of Death Trap Dungeon. <laughs> Right. So, um, loved the hell out of the intro. Like, ugh, like the nostalgic kick. Um, so I saw this game in a manual of all things. Um, I almost want to say it was in the manual for, uh, was it Fighting Force? Where there was like a bunch of different games on that, or maybe it was, maybe it was, Gex. I th wanted to at least uh, give this a try. I'm playing as her, clearly, but. Red Lotus. I didn't hear a damn thing. <laughs> Like, I actually, like, was, uh, I should have shut the fuck up and listened. Welcome to the dungeon, no creatures of the underworld portal. Wait, no creatures of the underworld portal, the great gatehouse. Take this chance to compose yourself and practice your skills before, y before venturing into the depths of the earth. You are safe here. For now. Oh, I love the fucking... 
Okay, so it's like a Tomb Raider. Oh. Uh, just like the texturing work. All right, let me see. So we got back up. A lot of dedication into the low poly ass. Oh, and Booba. Okay. So. Okay. So we got a thrust. A run. Oh, in any direction. Okay, good to know. So this is just like, I can accelerate. <laughs> and I don't suppose I can do anything about this. What the hell's that? Oh, I guess it's like a dodge? Or a throw? Or a block? Maybe it's a block. First person shooter mode? Okay. Okay. Inventory. Good to know. Alright, let's go. Nice little draw distance. I guess it's, yeah, it feels like a Tomb Raider. Oh, for fuck's sake. Man, already start, starting out with this shit. I'm guessing I have to hit those. Is, that, is, there, is this the action button? Okay, square. I was like wondering what the hell it was going to be for. Okay. So, Spire one. Apparently, um, I took. I did. I, I think I took full damage. Orc troops and evil imps defend the. Front, wait, fort, fort, fi fortified, Nick, it's fortified. Oak troops and the evil imps defend the f fortified <laughs> entrance to the dungeon proper. You must defeat these fan, oh, fanatic gods and find your way to negotiate the Negotiate the platforms and blocks of moving the st what? Negotiate the platforms and blocks of m of moving stone that impede your progress. A barred cage houses the oh okay. A barred cage houses the lever that opens the exit to the gatehouse. You must solve the puzzle that lifts the cage to penetrate the lower levels of the dungeon. Okay, there's a lot more, like, I, I think what's throwing me off is I'm not used to, maybe it's just, like, the era, but I'm not really used to the, the fancy and, I guess, uh, fantastical sort of, uh, writing. Alright, so there's different attacks, which I'm probably going to be using now. Oh, sh holy shit. Oh. Oh, that's my jump. Let me see if there's my block. I guess. Yep. Silver key. Now, could I loot the corpse? This little tank control sort of part I gotta get used to. I mean, it doesn't seem like too difficult, but... What the... Okay. It doesn't seem too difficult, but, um... Oh! Okay, I like the animation. 
scroll of some sort. Raise a spell. Okay, that was dumb of me. I shouldn't have even t chanced that. <sighs> okay, so there's a backflip. So yeah, it feels... I was trying to decipher if it was more like Warpig. I was trying to decipher if it was more like Tomb Raider or like uh, Nightmare Creatures. Huh. Holy shit, though. Oh, that's fucking nice. Blo like, the blood splat and dripping down the- Okay. Nice little attention to detail. I really do like this. This is kind of like already holding my attention. I could have swore I read in like a in like a manual, at least the one I own. I'll have to double check, but I could have swore that they at least advertise this as a multiplayer game. Which was sort of another reason I wanted to check it out, but I guess not from what I can tell. I would have enjoyed it immensely. And I'm guessing this yeah, makes it go down, right? Yeah. Oh, nice! Where I can actually click it. Okay, it's pretty. I don't know why I said that's pretty. That was nice to have, so I, I applaud. One more to go. I really fucking like this game. I wish I could see, like... Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Okay. So I guess there is spells and shit like that. So let me see if there's a... Yes, okay. I don't suppose I could jump and attack. No. Hmm. Wow, good thing I fucking did that. Doesn't seem to be too difficult to, uh... Uh, kill. At least right now. Oh, wow. Look at these fucking... Like... Keebler Elf fucked like Jigsaw in a nightmare. Or the puppet. I keep forgetting the fucking puppet's name. You can climb here. What's this, though? Okay, that's a save point. Well, I'm not gonna be doing any saving right now. Nice little arrow. Let's 
some Aeon Flux kind of <laughs> acrobatics. Kill the orc to call the lift. Oh, holy shit. All right, I'm actually going to stop here. So for those who do not know, this is a Nictana plays where I kind of just want to play a little bit of the game, um, showcase it, and uh, allow people to play it themselves by not really spoiling too much. Because, I mean, it's just, you know, 15 minutes usually that I play, like, so it just gives a little bit of a taste. But I think I want to stream this. Um, certainly play it more. But until then, this is Nictana. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great week.